Hi guys, so in today's video we are going to learn about what are waves and definition of waves and types of waves and the parts of the types of waves. So let's get started. So first of all, what is a wave? So a wave is a disturbance that travels through space and matter, transferring energy from one place to another. So what happens is that a wave pushes the matter around them to travel. For example, if this is uh, this is a wave which is coming, and uh, these this is uh, the other air particles. So the wave will push them and uh, vibrate them to go through. Uh, but in some uh, cases, some waves do not need matter to travel. Some uh, waves can just travel straight away through vacuum. So again, the definition of wave is, a wave is a disturbance that travels through space and matter, transferring energy from one place to another. It is very important to remember that energy is transferred and matter is not transferred. So there are two types of waves, mechanical waves and electromagnetic waves. So let's learn about each one. So what are me mechanical waves? Mechanical waves are waves that require a medium to travel. This means that they have to have some sort of matter to travel through. As I told you before, some waves need matter to travel and other waves do not need matter to tra travel. So mechanical waves are the type of waves that need something to travel through past. Pass through. So mechanical waves need some sort of matter or some sort of medium to travel through. These waves make the molecules of the medium bump into each other and vibrate and pass on the energy. See, like it's shown in this diagram, the mechanical wave will pass through the particles, make them vibrate and then pass the energy again. So mechanical waves make molecules bump into each other and vibrate them with the transfer of energy in order to travel. Now what are electromagnetic waves? Electromagnetic waves are waves that can travel through a vacuum. Means um, they do not need any matter to travel. They can just uh, travel through vacuum, empty, which is empty space. They don't need a medium or matter to travel. Microwaves, radio waves and x-rays are electromagnetic waves. Now inside this also there are two types, transverse and longitudinal waves. Transverse waves are the waves that travel in a straight direction, but the movement or vibration of or disturbance of the molecules go up and down. So the wave is traveling in one direction only. The wave is not going up and down, but the particles which are moving along with the wave are going up and down. So this is the direction of the wave and these are the particles which go a bit up and down to travel. So parts of a transverse waves. So as we can see in this diagram, the majority four parts of a transverse wave, which is the crest, which is the most um, topmost part of the wave, the trough, which is the lowermost part of the wave, and the amplitude. Now this uh, line which you can see, the di direction which the wave is going in, which is straight, so this line is called the equilibrium. So the distance between the equilibrium and the uh, crest or the trough is called the amplitude. And the wavelength is the distance between two crests or two troughs. So uh, clear definitions. The crest, the highest surface part of a wave is called the crest. The lowest surface part of a wave is called the trough. The amplitude is the distance between either the trough or the crest to the equilibrium. Wavelength the distance between one crest and the other. Now the second part are uh, longitudinal waves. So in longitudinal waves, the particles go along or in the same direction as the wave. So as you can see, the particles are not moving up and down like transverse waves. Long in longitudinal waves, the, uh, wa the particles go right with the wave in one direction straight away. Parts of a longitudinal waves. So this is uh, very simple. There are majorly only uh, three parts, which is compression, refraction, and wavelength. Compression is the place where, as you can see, the particles come uh, really close to each other. At this point, the energy is maximum. The refraction is where particles go apart. At this time, the energy is low. And the wavelength is the distance between one compression and another. 
so the proper definitions compression so region in a longitudinal wave where the particles are the closest refraction the region in a longitudinal wave where the particles are apart from each other wavelength the distance between two consecutive points distance between two compressions or refractions so now the summary a wave is a disturbance that travels through matter transferring energy from one place to another mechanical waves are waves that require a medium to travel electromagnetic waves are waves that can travel through a vacuum in longitudinal waves the particles go along or in the same direction as the wave transverse waves are waves that travel in a straight direction but the movement of molecules or the particles go up and down so guys thank you for watching this video and if i hope you learned something new from, from it and if you did remember to subscribe to my channel hit the like button and share this video with the family and friends thank you for watching goodbye